uh, growers are interested in using biological control for disease uh, control, so uh, the trichoderma, bacillus, uh, things like root shield or seas. Um, and we know that these products actually have an effect on uh, the induced resistance in the plant, so it activates the resistance in the plant. Um, now, induced resistance is quite complicated, so we don't know exactly, we can't exactly predict what happens uh, to resistance to pests, for example. Um, so the whole project is about seeing uh, what these products that are used for biocontrol diseases will actually do. Um, uh, do they make the plant more resistant or more susceptible to pests, or does nothing actually happen? In this project, we're looking at a greenhouse tomato. Um, it, we're using hydroponic tomato because that's exactly what the growers are using themselves. Um, and we're looking at products, beneficial microbes like uh, root shield, like seas, uh, microbial abstracts, um, uh, anything that is near market or already on the market for root disease biocontrol. Growers are using biocontrol, uh, these products for biocontrol of diseases, but as far as I know, it's not really used for uh, biocontrol or any control of insect pests or mite pests. Um, however, this research project um, will make growers aware of what can happen and hopefully we'll have uh, really good results, be able to tell the growers uh, what kind of effect uh, using uh, these microbes to the roots um, through induced resistance we'll have on the pests like spider mites or white flies. Right now, because this research is still ongoing, the main message is it's complicated, but um, hopefully this research will shed more light on what's actually happening, how important induced resistance can be for uh, control of pests.